Cuff. 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 We love Cuff. Cuff is so hot. So hot. Don't you want a cuff? You see, lying is actually a contagious epidemic passed from one person to another in what I call the domino effect of deceit. But if my lie detection software were readily available to every consumer... No more lies. Nicely put. Hello, Wilson. Take a seat and put the blindfold on. Make sure you tie it tight. Wouldn't want to ruin the fun with any peeking. Okay, cat. This is surprisingly kinky, but I'm also 100% into it. What's next? I thought it was time we test the bonds of our relationship. I like the sound of that. Oh, okay. Uh, can we do a little role play? Other arm, please. You're not gonna strip me and leave me here to be discovered by some freshman, are you? Would you like that? Maybe on a second date. Lean back, please. Oh, you smell really nice. Thank you. It's this little thing I like to call a shower. I should try it sometime. You're gonna dance for me. Allie, the lights? What the hell? Cat, what is this? Wait, threesome. Sorry, Wilson, but I have a policy against my friend dating criminals. You set a honey trap? We just have a few questions for you, okay, bud? If you answer them to our satisfaction, you'll be free to go. Wilson, meet Allie. Hi, Allie, it's nice to meet you. Please untie me. No can do. All you have to do is answer truthfully and we'll let you go. First question. Throw him a softball. Lure the suspect into a false sense of security. I'm right here. Did you set the fire in Professor Moynihan's office to destroy the evidence that your mom built Cuff based off bad data? That was not a softball. Of course I didn't set the fire. I didn't even know about the data until you- Until when? Well, if you let me finish my sentence, I'll- What will you do? Allie, relax, he's cooperating. Oh, please continue. I didn't even know about the data until you told me. What about your shoddy alibi? What were you really doing the night of the fire? Okay, I'll admit it. I was at the administrative building. Well, yeah, but not why you think. I was dropping a letter in Alvaro's mailbox. This letter? Where did you get that? Better question. Why were you trying to silence Alvaro? He was threatening to expose something about my family. Okay, something personal. Oh, that your mom's a fraud? But you, you don't know the first thing about her! Wait, her with your big strong man arms! What? Why would I hurt you? What? Is that what people think of me? I'm working on the anger thing. Really. It's just... Alvaro had no right to blast something so personal. Yeah, but a public product isn't personal. Well, it's not about my mom's business! It's about her affair. My dad doesn't know. It would kill him. You know, it'd destroy my family. And when Alvaro made it clear that he didn't care about me, I made it clear that I didn't care about hurting him. Not exactly something you can fess up to if you don't want to get kicked out of school. I know my mom's not a perfect person. But she is going to fix Cuff. Cuff isn't just some party game, though, Wilson. It could change people's lives for the better or worse. All of the technology we're using, it's always evolving. Like, the stuff you've been using for years, it still gets constant updates. 
It's like my mom's would. And she's already hired a new researcher. Someone familiar with Moynihan's work, but better suited to evolve Cuff for the next generation. And now you know everything I know. So can I go? Uh, no, stop. Don't you get it? Somebody's trying to keep his faulty research under wraps. Beside your mom, who would benefit from that fire? Moynihan? I truly believe he had no idea the data's flawed. Well, who else would know? And Margot did. She discovered it herself. No, who would do almost anything to ingratiate himself with a tech developer with money and connections? What, the same guy that would stab his mentor in the back and then take over his research? Simon. Kat, you have to turn him in. I want to, but that would mean telling the truth. The whole truth. About everything. I mean, cough will flop. My mom's company will go under. You can do it. I can't keep protecting her. I'm sick of living with all these lies. Kat, while I'm on, I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your success in my class. Kat provided enough evidence for me to conclude my investigation into last year's fire. And for her great work, I have just awarded her the coveted A in my seminar. Professor. Kat, I hope you've done your prep work for Suspect. The world is waiting to hear about Kat. I need to talk to you first. Of course. It's about Simon. What about me? I know you set the fire. The data you've been collecting has major issues. Margot told Simon all about it. My theory is he went behind your back and told Dr. Wilson, hoping to cut a deal. I don't have to stand here and listen to this. Let her finish. Simon would get rid of the evidence, destroy it. In return, Dr. Wilson would cut you out and give Simon your job. Cat. I'm afraid you're giving my TA too much credit. Your theory has him punching <laughs> far above his weight. Is that so? You were gonna keep me under your thumb forever. Release Cuff. Ask him the fame, the money. All of it based on lies. I mean, what kind of scientist is so blinded by his own ego that he fails to realize the glaring errors in his research? And you? I'll admit I was a little worried when Moynihan started his little experiment, but I mean, it was almost just too easy to slip over all that essay and email your drunken exploits to the school. Everyone knows you're just a kind of antisocial screw up to drunkenly set a fire. Simon, that's enough. I want to call Dr. Wilson and clear this. Who do you think suggested a fire? Just wait until the last person leaves the building, light a little match, and drop it in the trash can, she said. I mean, it was never my intention to hurt anyone. Burned down a building? How was I supposed to know that his curtains would be old enough to be considered kindling? I, mean, I called the fire department, thinking that by the time they arrived, only his office would be burned. Simon, this behavior is unacceptable. You need to go and collect yourself. What happens next? I think that deserves a round of applause, don't you? Yeah, the Moynihan A has been something I've dreamt of since I got to Colvin. You have to push back the launch. Tell Dr. Wilson you'll do the research over again. Or better yet, find a new developer, a more ethical one. Professor, we can't do this. Not today.
แคะ I still believe in the purpose of this technology. Everything else, we can figure it out. But we need to be the first to market. Now, you'll come on as my assistant. We'll complete a whole new round of research. We'll patch the holes. By this time next year, you'll be rolling in stock options, and the world, well, the world will be a more truthful place. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to withdraw from the class. As many of you know, last semester, Margot Miller was the unintended victim of a fire that swept through Colvin's administration building. A fire set because of misguided moral justifications and ambitions spun out of control, which, let's be honest, we're all susceptible to. But this case has three guilty parties, and now that I know the facts, I think you should too. What are you doing? I'm telling the truth. The professor's right when he says lying is a contagious epidemic. What he's not willing to admit. He's the one who set the domino effect of deceit into motion. Dr. Wilson knew the professor's data was bad. That's why she wanted it stolen and the crime covered up with a fire. Yeah, Dr. Wilson, the tech guru, willing to deceive the world in order to monetize the truth for her own personal and financial gain. You're live, genius. And Professor Moynihan, the hypocritical scientist who preaches truth but asks his students to bury it. When we're fed lies as facts, we see time and again how the people in charge put their own needs first. The line between right and wrong gets harder to locate. That's literally what I've been saying this whole time. Which is why it's even more important to know the whole truth before slinging accusations. Which brings me to Simon, the misguided student who set the fire, thinking a deal with Dr. Wilson was worth risking everything. I mean, with mentors like those, who could blame him? I can. That's right, listeners. Margot Miller has stepped into the studio, and may I say, looking fabulous. We're all flawed. We're all susceptible to our own baser instincts: fear, jealousy, lust. The list goes on, which is why it's so important to have friends you can trust, to remind you of who you can be, your best self. I'm still working on that. That's all for this special edition of Suspect. Next week, I'll be rejoined by my co-host and better half, Ali Stein. Until then, I'm Kat Carlson, and I hope you kill it. This dump is the future you were talking about? It's called an open concept office. You know, picture rows of unshowered software engineers sweating out cold brew as they work for you. Sounds awful. I mean, I really expected a better view when we made this deal. Well, we wouldn't want to draw too much attention with you still in hiding, would we? If you say so. We can work out the details of your corner office as soon as you fix the data. It's done. Decades of Moynihan's research, all yours. Ours. Like I've said from the start, we're going to build this company together. Do you ever regret what we did? I don't believe in regrets. And Moynihan and my mom are dinosaurs. They're not visionaries. They were turning truth into nothing more than a pricey fashion accessory. We are going to freely give the power of truth to the people, not just the elite few. I mean, Naya would be very impressed. <laughs> well, and anyway, you know, other than an antiquated building, no one really got hurt. Not even Margot. How is she? Oh, she's fine. You know, with what I paid her, she better be fine. Still kind of amazed that she put all the pieces together. Never thought I'd be blackmailed by Margot Miller. Yeah, she's smarter than she looks. And a surprisingly good actress. And so are you, by the way. Oh. I heard about your little speech. It's a nice touch. Yeah. 
I gotta run to meet Kat. You know, not everything was a lie. You need anything before I take off? No, I'm comfortable. Right? I do have one more question. Shoot. Are you ever gonna tell your mother what we did? Absolutely. The day my mother tells my father about her affair. <laughs> <laughs>